Thanks for dropping in. Love them knives here. LTK. The best tech bison. I've been wanting to look at these knives. So hang on. We're going to get into them. All right, Aru. Hey, got these two knives, and I got these from Best Tech, and they they had showed them to me at the Shot Show, and I'm not. They didn't have a name for them at the time, so they were prototypes, and they're still, I guess, prototypes. But I mean, they got their logo on them, says D2 Steel, all that kind of stuff, and this has got titanium frame. So this is like where you have a D2 knife, and yeah, if you just want a regular, you know, D2 knife. <laughs> so these are their normal D2 knives, where they're like 52 bucks, especially before discount. Get them from White Mountain Knives, use the LTK discount code, and get 10% off and free shipping in the U.S., just remember that. But in any case, where did my pal didn't go? I, oh, I know. My wife's got it. We, we've been unpacking for the last couple of weeks, and she just, she took it because it's a good knife to use when you need to cut boxes open and stuff. In any case, here's the bison. So interesting because, so this is kind of a step up because you've got titanium frame lock, not a steel liner lock. Okay, you got D2 steel either way here, but then you've got a nice milled pocket clip instead of a stamped steel pocket clip. So what what does that mean for you? Maybe you want a little bit more upscale and maybe you're really into frame locks and not liner locks. I know there are people that way. So there you go. Or G10 or you can get carbon fiber. And this is, if you look at that, and I don't know if the camera really helps you see it that clearly. But you can you see that? Yeah, that's carbon fiber all the way through. See the see the fibers running through all the way? So that's carbon fiber all the way through. I saw that somebody asked them that on their Instagram posting. And they said, yes, it's carbon fiber. So there you go. And then see, there's the titanium backspacer pocket clip. So... This is a cut above as far as overall, you know, presentation on the knife. Is it going to be a better knife necessarily? Well, they both got D2 blades. So, but this is reaching maybe an audience that's not, doesn't mind paying a few more bucks to get a titanium frame lock and then also get some nice little titanium extras on there as well so there you go in g10 or in carbon fiber and a big huge pass through for your lanyard your pivot nothing fancy nothing fancy but in any case you've got you know an access to it here not up front you got a big choil which seems like it's more than just for, you know, the sake of sharpening the blade, but really put here to where you can choke up on the knife and do more controlled cuts if need be. And let's see. And these have been rolling around for a while, folks. These are pretty much kind of the prototype stuff, I believe, in any case. But they look like a pretty well-finished prototype. Uh, because they already have the logo and the type of steel and everything on them. As opposed to like the Ascot that I just got done messing with. And the Ascot doesn't have anything on here. And that's a really cool knife. Check out my review on that. Decent size knife. Well, yeah, bigger than the Manix. The Manix 2. This is not a Manix XL, by the way. Uh, well, the sister, the S110 Burple Para 2. Well, still kind of looks bigger. 
And if we change the perspective, they'll probably look about the same. Yeah, the pair are starting to look bigger now. Um, hmm. And of course, the fish. The fish is big. The fish is really big. The fish looks bigger. So, this is not a 9-inch knife. That is for sure. Okay, so let me just grab my tape, which is sitting here staring at me and I'm not seeing it. Well, okay. Uh, you know, it depends on how you want to roll with that. 3.65 and about 92 millimeters or 3 and 3 quarter at about 97 millimeters, depending on where you want to hit the bolster at. And then overall length, well, you're looking at 8 and 3 eighths, not quite 8 and a half. And over 21 not quite 21 and a half centimeters long. So, yeah, okay. So it's a bigger knife than the Para 2. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. And this obviously is a black washed titanium here with a black washed blade where this one looks stone washed and stone washed. Okay. Okay. Depends on which one you like better as far as that goes. A little bit more sophistication, elegance here, I guess, with the carbon fiber. I'll give you a link to White Mountain Knives when I do get all that and they get in stock and everything. And you could use the LTK discount code for 10% off that way and get free shipping and all that kind of stuff. Throw it on the scale. Okay, so... That's not bad, 4.26 ounces uh, at 120 grams, about 121 grams. Okay, a couple of grams lighter on the carbon fiber one, just a couple of grams. So, not a lot. Hmm... Uh, you know, the ergos feel pretty good. Yeah, the thing you get when you get a titanium milled titanium pocket clip, it's just there. It's not hiding. It, they're usually not too obtuse, though, because they're just, you know, parallel to the scales. So can you feel it? Yeah, of course you can feel it. But, uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem bothersome to me. Okay, got jumping on top of the blade here. Okay, kind of this drop point, spear point type looking blade. Swedge up here. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like it ought to be able to do some piercing and slicing tasks. And the, you know, the flipper tab doesn't seem all that out there. Although, yeah, it's pretty sizable actually. Got jumping on the front. Kind of a landing zone milled in here for your finger. And the appropriate detent. Mm. Wow. Trying to give you a... It, it, let me see if I can fail it. Nah, not that one. So it's it holds pretty good. Oh, that's easier to uh, push out. So the detent is different on this one. This one's a lighter detent. Let me see if I can... Yeah, I can gravity flip this one. I'm not sure I can gravity flip this one. Oh, yeah, I can finally. Yeah, this may be like a 4.8, and this is more like a 5.2 as far as detent. So there, there is a difference there in the detent between these two knives. But yeah, oh, this one's been flipped a hell of a lot more during the months that it's been out there for people to handle. So that could be something as well. And you got a nice backspacer. I like that. It kind of gives it a finished look. And of course, with all this stone washing, all the edges break. It's nice and smooth. Everything's chamfered. You got some nice grippy G10 there. Got this little milled area through here for comfort with your finger. And you know what? Um, you know, it's not difficult to disengage. 
and I'm not getting any um, lock stick and it's or blade play lock rock any of that not getting any of that either let me take a look real quick of course I think we're just gonna chunk one of these apart here in a little bit yeah it's got a hardened steel insert in it kind of interesting to see what the uh, what the bearings look like if they're ceramic normally they have been on the best tech knives so but yeah um oh well i don't want to ignore you on this either they've been running about 3.75 yeah millimeters there you go 0.147 and then overall thickness just a half inch uh come on 12.7 millimeters so there you go just a kind of a standard edc looking and they're centered so maybe we've done enough jack john and uh let's throw down a little work rag and take one of these apart i think i'm gonna take the carbon fiber one apart so let's let's have at it and I'll probably wish I wouldn't have done this one, right? <laughs> yeah, this this feels like yeah, to a degree like it might have had some yeah thread locker on it, and it did. It did have some thread locker. Let's see what these size screws are, and I don't. Dang it, I was going to get me a number six on my Wii, huh? And I didn't. But this is a number six right here. Yeah, we got this one locked down too. Oh well, we'll just use whatever's handy around here. Um, yeah. I wonder if these two connect back in here. I think they do. Otherwise, I normally just don't pull the pocket clips for no reason. Okay, there goes a pocket clip right there. And uh, we should be free and easy to, to have it go. And there it goes. And there it's, uh, you know, weight relieved ceramic detent ball. There's your... Ah, there's your blade stop and there is a steel washer in here flip the other side okay so then they're doing a steel uh, piece support piece here to go up and support that blade stop and these are ceramic bearings and it is a d-shaped pivot go figure so there you go man I think that's about all I need to really see. I don't need to pull anything more apart. You can look inside the the carbon fiber scale and it looks like carbon fiber before I get into too much more trouble. Let's just pretend that I didn't do this to their prototype knife. Yikes. And uh, what, me? I didn't do this and just uh, kind of put her back together okay see slicker than you know what let's pop this little puppy in here which they've got like a little milled recess in there for it so that'll secure that pocket clip. It's nice when they do that. And uh, throw this little dog in here. And they all look like they had some kind of thread locker on them. They all felt that way a little when I was pulling them out too. They had a little drag there. I just assume they never put it on there, but 
And then, of course, this is way the hell off. So let's move us to a middle position. And let's... Come on. I hope I line this thing up to where I could. There we go. Now we're now we're moving it to a center. Let's not over tighten. Let's see if we can back this off just a little bit and we're centered. Okay. How about blade play? Nope, it's solid. Okay, we're good. We snuck in, snuck out, nobody knew. Yeah, I, I mean, the action on them is pretty good. They drop, you know? And I, I didn't clean the bearings and put my own little stuff in there or anything, but yeah, that that's pretty fair. Pretty fair. So we got that, and of course, been ignoring the green G10, haven't we? See, so, yeah, that's pretty nice. Good little walk around there. You know? So, all right. I think I've wasted enough of your time. It's just, I've seen so many pictures on the Instagram, but then there were people like, can we see the clip side? Can we see the clip side? Until I got these in my hand, I don't know. I guess I wasn't looking at the pictures close enough, but I didn't know that they were titanium on the back. You know, go figure, right? So there you go. There's the backside. Take care, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out. We got in and out without getting hurt or caught. We're all good. You know what we do around here. We love them knives. Don't we flan again? Hi, yes, me boy. You guys, stay sharp.